Good afternoon, Jank Enthusiasts. It's me, MBT. And this joke is already falling apart because I'm clearly not MBT. And this deck is also something that you'd find in an episode of Turbo Tuesdays and not 10 minute testing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Exodia, the legendary defender. This stupid, useless piece of shit card is exactly that, but my friends thought it would be an interesting idea to try and actually summon the thing. They were experimenting using Egyptian God Slime in order to meet the tribute requirements, but gave up when they realized that they couldn't attack over a Raiden in order to fulfill Exodia's requirement. This is when I stepped in, and using my immense power of having watched far too much Turbo Tuesdays, stole a Dark Warrior Skeleton directly from MBT and adapted it in order to be able to summon Exodia. We're going to be using Dark Warrior combos to pump out enough materials to make Prime Math Mech Alembertian to search out Lair of Darkness, turning all the cards on the field into Dark type. Then we can make a Wee Witch and summon Rotar, which allows us to search Exodia, and then we can go into Reproducus, making an enemy monster into a fiend and summon Exodia. With that, let's get into the game. As you can see, I totally didn't play against a shitty AI because this combo is nearly impossible to pull off in a real match. Nope, didn't do that. Our opponent is going to summon a Mystical Shine Ball, and then pass turn, so we can pop off. We're going to use Puppeteer to move Shine Ball in front of a zone that a Link Zone points to. We're going to use Double Summon before summoning Neo Space, and Neo Space is going to grab Aqua Dolphin. We'll go into a copy of Isolda and use its effect to grab any random warrior, then use its second effect to dump some equips and summon a copy of Armageddon Knight. We'll use Armageddon Knight's effect in order to send Plague Spreader to the graveyard, then summon Plague Spreader. We'll go into a copy of Halka Fibrax, which will summon Red Rose, which we'll use to go into Power Tool Dragon. Red Rose will grab White Rose, and then we'll use Power Tool Dragon to grab a copy of DDR. We'll activate Phoenix Blade to banish Armageddon Knight before using DDR to revive it. Armageddon Knight is going to send a copy of Zephyros, which is going to bounce DDR back to our hand. We'll use Phoenix Blade again to banish Armageddon Knight before DDRing him back, and this time sending a Summon Monk to the graveyard. We'll, act we'll go into a copy of Alembertian and use its effect to revive Summoner Monk before going into Saryuja. We'll Monk for Monk, and then Monk for Monk again. And then we'll activate Phoenix Blade to get it back, and then Monk one last time to go into a copy of Rescue Ferret. Here we can go into a copy of Alembertian and use its effect to search uh, Terraforming. We can use Terraforming to grab Lair of Darkness, which we'll activate. This turns all monsters dark type. We'll use Rescue Ferret to go into Brotar, Black Metal, and Vion. We'll use Brotar to go into Striker Dragon, and then use Black Metal to go into Elpi. Black Metal will search Darkness Metal, and we'll banish Striker Dragon to summon it. Then we'll use Elpi's effect to grab Saferit. Saferit's going to send itself to the graveyard, which allows us to search uh, Collapse Serpent. Then we'll go into Copy Protector Whelp, summon Collapse Serpent, and go into Pisty. Collapse Serpent will grab Wiver Burster. Uh, Pisty will grab Saferit, we'll go into Romulus, and then go into Wee Witch. Then we'll use Darkness Metal to summon Brotar, and use its effect targeting Wee Witch to search Exodia. Then we'll go into Reproducus, turn Shine Ball into a Fiend type, summon Wiver Burster, go into Exodia, and attack for game. Finally, let's get into the card by card. We start off with our centerpiece, this giant piece of garbage. We play three Watt Kinetic Puppeteer to move enemy monsters into zones that Reproducus can point. We play 3 Neo Space, 2 Aqua Dolphin, 3 Vion, and 2 Malicious. Neo Space and Vion are our starters. Then are our Garnets, we have Armageddon Knight, Plague Spreader, Red Rose, White Rose, Zephyros, 3 Summoner Monk, 1 Rescue Ferret, 1 Omni Dragon Brotar, we have Black Metal, Darkness Metal, the Chaos Dragon, and Safer. If you draw Garnets, don't worry about it. As long as they're not Armageddon Knight, Plague Spreader, or you didn't draw two Garnets, you can use Plague Spreader to shuffle them back into the deck. Then we have our spells. We're playing 3 DDR, our Isolda package of Moon Mirror, Sword of the Deep Seated, Horn of the Unicorn, and Phoenix Blade. We play a Lair of Darkness, and then we play 3 Card Advance, which I've subbed in for Double Summon. The ability to stack your deck comes in handy when you have Magical Mallet, and we play 3 Magical Mallet, which we use to shovel Garnets back into our deck. I've cut the copy of Terraforming, since we can just use Alan Bershon to sh uh, search Lair of Darkness directly. Finally, we have our extra deck. We're playing Isolda, Dugaris, Alan Bershon, Power Tool Dragon, Striker Dragon, Elpi and Pisty, Romulus, Halka Fibrax, Reproducus, Saryuja, Wee Witch, and Protector Whelp. Anyway, this deck sucks. Uh, don't play it. I did this because my friends said it couldn't be done, but here it is in all its bricky glory. Uh, so that's that. 
As always, thanks to my patrons. I have no patrons. Stupid, useless piece of shit card is exactly that, but my friends thought it would be interesting to try and actually summon the thing. They were experimenting with using Egyptian God Slime in order to meet the tribute requirements, but keep- And then Ryan turns on a fucking blender in the background, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> you were doing- you were on a roll?